In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the forward and backward buttons to your tablet dashboards. And I want you to think of these buttons as basically uh, navigation buttons, which can be used to navigate between the different uh, dashboard tabs. For example, as you can see in this example, I have a dashboard or rather a workbook with three dashboard tabs. I have this tab on summary, profitability, and sales. And therefore what we're going to do, we're going to use these forward and backward buttons to enable users to be able to navigate between the different tabs by simply clicking on these particular icons. And to do that, what I've done, I've visited a site called Flat Icons. So you can see it here. And I've searched for forward and backward icons. And you can see several of them here. Whereby for this case, I've downloaded this particular button, the backward button, and this one forward button, and saved them uh, in my desktop. And therefore what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump in Tableau and see how we can be able to have these particular buttons to these particular dashboards. And to do that, first of all, I'm going to navigate or rather I'm going to drag the navigation object while my selection is floating to the view. And I'm going to add or rather go to edit button, whereby in this case, I need this particular button to navigate from summary tab to the profitability tab. So I'm going to select profitability and the style of the button is not going to be a text, but rather I'm going to select an image because I want to add an image and I'm going to navigate to where I've set my image. In this case, I'm going to select the forward image and I'm going to click OK. And now you can see I have added this particular a forward icon to my dashboard. Let me place it somewhere here. Next, I'm going to repeat the same process. Uh, that is dragging navigation to the view. And I'm going to go again to edit. However, in this case, I'm not going to, because I need to add a backward button, I'm not going to set it to navigate to any uh, dashboard tab because there's no tab for this uh, particular tab. So I'm going to select none. And again, I'm going to change this one to image and select the backward icon, click OK. And as you can see, it's a little bit uh, not visible because it's not targeting any particular uh, tab for this case. And I'm going to add it to my view here. So now you can see we've added a forward and backward buttons to this particular dashboard. And I'm going to repeat the same for the rest of the dashboard tabs. However, because uh, of time, what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to copy paste these particular icons to the rest of these dashboards. So I'm going to come to the first one and I'm going to select copy dashboard item. And for each dashboard, I'm simply going to paste it. That is control plus V to paste that particular icon and again for the cells control plus V and I'll paste it. I'll go back to summary and I'm going to copy the second or rather the forward one. So copy dashboard item and I'm going to come here control plus V. Let me position it somewhere here. And again to cells control plus V and I'm going to position it uh, here. And now what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to add, or rather I'm going to specify how these navigation buttons are going to function by simply coming to this uh, tab. And I'm going to set this particular navigation button, come to edit, and I need this one to navigate to the summary uh, tab and click OK. Again, I'm going to come to this one and I'm going to set it to navigate uh, to the next tab that is cells and click OK. I'm going to come to this tab again and I'm going to set this one to navigate to the previous uh, tab that is uh, profitability. Click OK. And I'm going to set this one to navigate to nowhere. So I'm going to set it to none and click OK. And now you're going to realize when I change uh, my presentation or rather my view to presentation mode, I can be able to use this particular forward and backward buttons to navigate through my dashboards. For example, I can click on this one to navigate to the previous uh, dashboard. 
I can decide to go back to the first one or go forward, forward, backward. So, so basically these navigation buttons are try to simulate what we've used uh, to interact with in a normal browser, which is uh, you can use the backward button to move to the previous uh, tab that you are interacting with, as well as you can use the forward button to move to the next uh, or rather the next tab. And basically that's how you can be able to use uh, or rather to implement the backward and forward navigation buttons to your tablet dashboards. Thanks everyone.